Hey what's up Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial this time showing you how to give your photos kind of a dark processed Lomo look here in Photoshop so we're going to go from this to this. As you can see it kind of darkened up the photo and made it look pretty cool. So let's get started we're gonna start fresh by opening up a new image here in Photoshop and I'm just going to go ahead and get started by duplicating this background layer down to the new layer icon. Then I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Levels. And what I want to do here is bring the rightmost node back a little bit to increase the brightness of the photo. So I'm going to stick with the number at around 230. And that looks good. Click OK. It might vary depending on what kind of photo you're using. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create a new Curves Adjustment Layer by coming down here to the new Fill or Adjustment Layer icon clicking curves and I'm going to go right into the red channel I'm going to kind of enhance the reds of this photo a little bit just like that next thing I'm gonna do is go into the green channel and do the same with the green channel here I bring this down a little bit and then the blue channel as well we're just going to probably like that now that that's done, I'm going to go up here to select all, edit, copy merged, edit, paste to paste a new layer of what we just did on top. And with this layer, we're going to go to image adjustments, black and white. Now I want to change the preset from default to darker to kind of mute the tones of the effect. So then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and change the blending mode from normal to darken and bring the opacity at around 70 percent or so just to bring back some of the colors okay so the next thing I'm going to do is paste in another copy of this image right above that copy then I'm going to come over here and make sure my foreground color is set to a dark color and the background color is set to a light color purple in this case and I'm going to go to image adjustments gradient map and just leave everything unchecked under gradient options click OK and I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to hard light and bring the opacity at around 50 percent now I'm going to go down here and create a new layer then I'm going to go to edit fill and we're going to fill this in with black normal 100 percent click OK and we're simply going to change the blending mode of this layer from normal to overlay. Then we're going to create a layer mask by clicking down here onto the add layer mask button. Now with that layer mask selected, I'm going to make sure my foreground set to black. And I'm going to choose a pretty decent sized brush, uh, probably a little bit bigger here. And a nice soft one, so hardness at zero. And I'm just going to kind of erase out the part where the motorcycles in so it kind of makes it look like the motorcycles glowing a little bit and you can also create another new layer foreground color to black and kind of paint the sky in a little bit and the corners and change the blending mode of this layer to color with a 75 percent opacity now we want to duplicate this whole image again so I'm going to go ahead and go to Select All, Edit, Copy Merged, and then Edit, Paste. So we have this all on our own layer. And what we can do is zoom in here and go into the uh, Dodge tool and kind of brighten up all the metals of this motorcycle here. Maybe the reds, the light, and you can even go into the Burn tool and darken the the darker colors like uh, around the wheel just like that just to kind of you know bring the focal point in towards the motorcycle as you can see that's our before and after so there you have it a dark process Lomo looking effect done in Photoshop I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time I'm gonna let you download the project file of this photo below in the description so as always you can follow me on Twitter at Roberts Productions visit the site robertsproductions.net like me on Facebook if you have any questions email me at the links in the description 
If you have any requests for something you'd like to see how to do in Photoshop, please leave a comment below or fill out the request form at the site at the link in the description. And of course, as always, you can subscribe to this channel for weekly tutorials just like this one. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.